about time. What's going on? Yeah. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, as we are gearing up for Megan Thee Stallion's album, Good News to Come Out this week, she is in a profile for GQ's Men of the Year issue. So congratulations to her. They actually named her Rapper of the Year. Now, in this interview, she talks about what happened that night with Tory Lanez. And she said, I never put my hands on nobody. I barely even said anything to the man who shot me when I was walking away. We were literally like five minutes away from the house. She says that after Tori shot her, he offered her and her friend money to keep quiet about the incident. She said, at this point, I'm really scared because this like right in the middle of all the protesting, police are just killing everybody for no reason. And I'm thinking, I can't believe you even think I want to take some money like you just shot me. Now, Megan Thee Stallion said when police did get there and arrest Tory Lanez, they noticed that her feet were bleeding and they asked her what happened and she responded, I got cut. And so that was her conversation because I guess, you know, people don't know how to react to the police and not wanting to tell things at that time. Now, she said she did still want to project strength despite being a victim. She said, like, damn, I have to be tough through all this, all the time. It was like, who really checks on us or who protected us? You just go your whole life with that mentality. And then when something actually happens to you, when you properly should have protected yourself, your first instinct was not to protect yourself. It was protecting other people. So that's- She told all that to GQ? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, didn't Meg say, uh, Meg was supposed to be here this week, but she- um, they had a long laundry list of things not to talk to yeah, her about, I and it was that, all Tory Lanes and that situation related. Yeah, I think I think you know what? I, yeah, I think it's crazy because when she does white publications, white publications, she's able to talk and and talk about everything that she wants to talk about. But mm-hmm. when she goes to the black press and black publications, there's a list that the label sends out that you know don't ask her about this, don't talk about this, don't talk about that. But we're the ones that support her and hold her down and play her music and, and talk about all the good things that she does and go through all that stuff. It's, yeah, it's just I would weird love when to, they do that. I it's would love weird, to read man. the GQ magazine article because if you're going to name her rapper already, yeah, you should be focusing on her her rap, right? I would. But there's other, yeah, that, that's in there too. This was just the part, no, you okay. know, and, and yeah, definitely. It's a whole interview. She talks about uh, working with Cardi B on WAP and just a lot of other things as well. So well, salute she to talks Meg. about YouTube, mm-hmm. Apple Music, and all of that. Salute to Meg. Wish her the best on her uh, debut album. Good good news, but, you know, I just don't like when artists go to white publications and spill their guts, but when they come to the black media outlets, they want us now, we also to have a long, don't long know list of things not to talk about. You're right. Not, if it's the artist it's probably not sending her. that list out or sure, if it's the yeah. label and representation saying that, a lot of times artists don't even know. They're like, what, what did they tell you I couldn't talk about? That is very true because um, uh, they asked us not to ask 50 about Donald Donald Trump, too. And he brought it up. Morning. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He brought it up himself. Exactly. It's, it's, it's... Yeah, so I don't want to put that on her. We don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah, that. I don't think it. I'm, I'm, I'm positive it's not her, but I just think it's whack when then her representatives for that. do that. Because when she was coming and then, up and she was a new artist, we were the ones supporting her before any white publication even knew who she was. The black publications yeah, and black least, media were supporting her. And at least talk talk with your people because, you know, you, you, you're comfortable with your people. You know, the white people just using you for a story. All right, now let's talk about Jeremiah. His team is giving an update on his condition as he is battling coronavirus. Adam Smith, who works with him, actually called in to Kenny Burns and said this. He is still ill. He is still in the hospital. It is some complications with COVID. Any progress is better than no progress. He's stable, but wow. he is still in ICU right now. And, but we do have the best of the best working on them. We've had a lot of a lot of people in entertaining in the entertainment capacity that we reached out to that helped us with their resources. Like Chance the Rapper has been super helpful. He's been uh, connecting us with a lot of the doctors at the um, hospital that he is, or just some more support. I connected with Puff. Puff connected us with his entire team at UCLA wow. that he works with. That's dope. Mm-hmm. Drop on the clue. All right. Chance the Rapper and Puff. Using their resources to help others. And that Hulu documentary about Takashi 6 9 has arrived. It is now streaming exclusively on Hulu. It's called 69, The Saga of Danny Hernandez. So wild. they said it's part investigative documentary, <laughs> part real-life gangster whoa. movie. Say the title it talks again, about ye. how he... <laughs> Say the title again, ye. That's the title? The Saga of Danny Hernandez. No, that's not what it's you said before. Keep going. 
69, the saga of Danny Hernandez. No, nah, you got to put my whole name. You got to say Takashi 69. <laughs> AK, all right, that the saga like of Danny. That's a wild pull, right? 69, the, the saga. saga of Daniel Hernandez. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeesh. <laughs> All right, well, it's about how he broke the internet repeatedly with his videos. I'm sure. And he broke media. I'm with sure. His, with his videos. I am sure. All okay, right, we well. We like kids. Go ahead. <laughs> they said the bulk of the work is done before his release from prison due to coronavirus <laughs> concerns earlier this year. And, yes, so if y'all want to check that out, oh, it's on Hulu. God. What are you making all this noise about? <laughs> it's you. The way you reported that story. 69. The song. 69. Of 69. And how he broke the internet with his videos. <laughs> right before jail. All right, guys. I'm Angela Yee. <laughs> and that is your rumor report.